Granted, your coding plan is like going to Disney and there's two groups of people. You have the super planners who have their dining reservations done 60 days in advance and have an alarm set to make sure that they get their lightning lanes. Then you have the super casual park goer who heads into the parks on good vibes alone. And in reality, what's gonna help you stick to your plan when you're learning how to code is a mix of the two. Taking the time to map out your vision, really understand what your goals are, and more importantly, what kind of software engineer you'd like to be is imperative. It's going to help you understand what languages you need to learn, what job titles you need to monitor, and also help others help you. Because it's hard for a mentor to help you if you don't understand what your goals are. But on the other hand, having the flexibility to bend and shift that plan is what's really going to make you resilient. It means the world doesn't come crashing down when it takes you a little bit longer than expected to learn recursion or that you wanna to pivot to iOS development from web development because that's what you enjoy more. So whether you're a Disney super planner or you're a good vibes park hopper, the key to learning how to code is balance. Tech is always evolving and the best engineers know how to adapt with keeping their end goal in sight. If you're on a coding journey and you want more tips to help you stay on track without the stress, hit that follow button. Let's make learning to code feel a little bit less like a chore.